What is going on guys? How are you guys today? Welcome back to another Roblox Firewall Inspection review. This is going to be Roblox Firewall Inspection number 85. It's been a little hot minute since we've done an inspection video, but I am back. I've been very, very, very busy with a lot of stuff, and then I've been busy with upcoming Roblox projects. Um, I've been working on the game, but I'm not going to spoil that. Uh, but yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. As you guys know, we are in the former event center. is basically not used anymore. I mean, I still keep up to it. I just keep up with the fire alarm system. I come in from downtown to change the system every so often, but I'm barely even in here. I'm barely even, you know, mess with this system anymore. Now, this is a little different. Yes, this system is a voice effect system, but it's kind of different. As you can see, we have pyrotronic uh, strobes on this wall, and we have one down there. And the reason for that is, it, well, you may be asking why we don't have speaker strobes. I think the only speaker strobes we have are in the uh, Starbucks back there. But the reason you may be asking where the speaker strobe. This is the speakers that are outputting the voice effect tone and the uh, voice effect message. First and foremost, I want to say once again, shout out to Point Cove. Shout out to Point Cove for making these. This is very amazing. The quality, I love the quality of it. it it's just, I'm just very, very happy with this. It is I like it. This made me happy whenever I saw they release this price. So once again, once again, shout out to Point Cove and yeah. Oh, and also I forgot to mention the beginning of the video. Please do not mind the background noise. That's my TV. I was watching TV uh, earlier. I just keep the TV on my background noise. So yeah. So pretty much not much change besides the strobes and the speakers. The pulsations pretty much stayed the same. But in here we have. In here we are using. Once again, shout out to Point Cove again. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think these are the Willock EH 70s. I, I don't know. I can't remember the models number. I can't remember the models off the top of my head, but these are Willocks. These are also made by Point Cove. And we have them on the ceiling in here. And then same pull stations. We go into the main area. Strokes. Same strobes. That I told you right here we have a strobe over there so most of the horn shows that were on the wall the Gentex horn shows that were on the wall were replaced with the uh, pyrotronic strobes all over the place and then we have a uh, we have another blue lock ceiling speaker strobe in here we got two of them actually and of course we're still rocking the firelight MS9200 adjustable panel this panel has been in this event building for a while now. I think I think it's been a year since this. I think it's been a year since this uh panel has been in this building, which is kind of crazy how time flies because I'm barely here. But yeah. So once again, I advise you guys if you're headphone users, uh, turn your volume down and something with this voice effect tone and voice effect message. You guys probably may recognize this. And uh, please don't mind the tr trouble on the panel. I every time for some reason every time I change the voice sound ID in the panel. I always throws a knack one trouble at me, so please don't mind that. as you can see voice feedback knack. So please don't mind that. So without further ado, guys, let's get into this test. Please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. 
I'm going to reset the system. It's going to throw a trouble at me, but that's going to be the voice NAC ID trouble that's going to throw at me. Alright, so. Oh, where am I? Alrighty, so that's gonna conclude Robux Fire Alarm Inspection number 85. I know it may this I know this fire alarm inspection may have not been the best, but it really wasn't much to show us because the speakers are on the ceiling and going to every single one of the speakers would take up too much time. But hopefully I could try to get another fire alarm inspection video out for you guys soon. Uh, I know there's been a big time gap. There's been a big gap in the Robux Fire Alarm Inspection series, but there's one the reason for that being is one, there hasn't really been much to film. Two, I've been trying to come up with different system ideas, from conventional systems to horn shows or just voice evac. You know, I've been trying to come up with ideas, but I really haven't had the time to do that. So I will try to be more consistent. Also, I will, like I said, I know I say this every video, I will try to throw out some railroad crossing, uh, some Roblox railroad crossing content for you guys and traffic light content because, you know, I know I, I'm barely, I've been saying that and I haven't done it, but. That's going to conclude the role of fire alarm inspection. Which also, once again, making a disclaimer. Please don't ask me for fire alarm models. Please don't ask me for fire alarms. Please don't ask me for pull stations. Please don't ask me for nuts heaters. Please don't ask me for fire alarm pans. Please don't ask me for models in general. Okay? If I see a comment of you asking me for a fire alarm model or this and that, I'm not trying to be stingy or whatever, but I'm not going to reply to the comment. And there's a reason why for that. One, there's a reason why for that. One, the reason for that being is I'm not giving away a fire alarm model that doesn't belong to me, okay? These fire alarm models were made from creators that take their time. You know, these creators spend hours making these models, you know, making these panels, you know, scripting, all that stuff. And it'll be, you know, they spend hours, you know, and that'll be just, that's just very disrespectful for people to just leak other people's models after they spent hours of scripting, modeling, and all that stuff. And this is why the Fire Alarm community has most of their models private, or most of the time you have to go to their Discord server and you have to buy the pen or buy the model Robux because they don't want their models getting leaked. And of course, if their model gets leaked, they're going to take action because... Trust me, if I was a developer, and trust me, if I was somebody who made fire alarms and all that stuff, and my model got leaked, trust me, I would be very upset. So once again, I'm not trying to be mean. Please stop asking me for models. I'm not going to reply to your comment, and you're not going to get the model. And there's a reason why I keep my inventory closed, because I do not want people snatching models and leaking them, and then I get accused of leaking models. Because trust me, that has happened before. That has happened back in 2019. And... I was very upset about it because, yeah. So once again, please stop asking for models because your uh, answer is no. Okay, you're not gonna get it. If you want to get the models, you can look up, you can look for the models in the toolbox, or you can join the fire, or you can join the Discord servers and get the models from there. But other than that, guys, that's something I want to get off my chest. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.